First is that .exe and that stands for executable. It basically contains code or instructions that tells the processor to execute or in other words, run a program. Now a key feature of the executable file is the fact that you, the user, can directly run the file. And this is not the case for most other system files like .dll. So for example, if you were to double click a .dll file, well, nothing would really happen. So for .exe, if you were to open notepad.exe, that would open notepad. Chrome.exe, that would open Chrome. Taskmgr.exe, that would open Task Manager. And now for .sys files, they stand for a system and they contain important device drivers and hardware configurations for the system to run properly. And these tend to run at a low level, meaning closer to machine language, and they communicate with the kernel and the hardware. So some examples would be win32k.sys, ntfs.sys, usbhub.sys, and so on. All right, next we have .dll files, and they stand for dynamic link library. They contain code that many programs have access to and use for common tasks. So this is done to save time and resources instead of each program having to run its own specific code for a basic job like showing a dialog box. So some examples would be shell32.dll, kernel32.dll, dnsapi.dll, and so on. All right, and now for .tmp or temp files, and they stand for temporary. They are basically files that an application or Windows itself creates for a short time to temporarily store information. And you can find that .tmp files or temp files in this folder right here. And there you can see a list of them. All right, and now finally we have .efi, which stands for Extensible Firmware Interface. And now if you're thinking about UEFI, good guess because they are in fact related. And that's because that EFI files play an important role in the UEFI booting process. They help in starting a computer and determining which operating system to boot. And that's all there is to it. If you know of any other system file extensions, please share. For more videos like this, subscribe and thanks for watching.